Now I want you to be aware that equations can have more than one solution. Take a look at this equation. x squared equals 4. What value for x makes this equation true? Well clearly x equals 2 is the solution because if we plugged in the number 2 right there, 2 squared does in fact equal 4. But also x equals negative 2 is a solution because negative 2 squared, remember that means negative 2 times negative 2, that also equals 4. So negative 2 is also a solution. Note that this equation has an exponent right there of 2. This is a power of 2 on the variable so we call this a second degree equation. And second degree equations can have two solutions. Take a look at this equation. Don't try to solve this, just take a look. x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. That equation has an x squared there, but it also has an x cubed. There's an exponent there that is a 3. We call this a third degree equation. And a third degree equation can have three solutions and so on. You should see the pattern there. A second degree equation has a power of two and it can have two solutions. A third degree equation has a power of three and it can have three solutions. A fourth degree equation would have a power of four and it could have four solutions. And you'll solve equations like that in higher math classes. In this class we're going to work, to work mostly with first degree equations. And first degree equations will only have one solution. Now here are some examples. For each of these we're told to identify it as either an expression, a first degree equation, a second degree, degree equation, or a third degree equation. Well this first one here, there's an equal sign so it's an equation. It says that one thing, the left side, is equal to another thing, the right side. And there's a power of two on the variable so this is a second degree equation. Now this next one here, 3x squared plus 5x minus 3. There's no equal sign, so that's, it's not an equation. This is just an expression. We could plug in a number for x and the expression would then have a value, but it's just an expression right now. So to answer the question, which is to identify it as an expression or some type of equation, this, this one is an expression. x plus 7 equals 11. That's an equation. Again, the giveaway there is the equal sign. You've got one thing equal to another. x plus 7 equals 11. And there's a variable in there, and it's not squared or cubed or anything. So this is a first degree equation. For x minus 9, there's no equal sign, so it's not an equation. This is just a mathematical expression. This one though, 4x minus 9 equals 3, we've added this equals 3 over on the side. So that makes it an equation. And there's our variable. It's not squared. It's not cubed. It's just x, which is the same as x to the first. So this is a first degree equation. And there's one more down here x cubed plus x squared equals 5. Well this is an equation. You see the equal sign there. We have an x cubed and an x squared. So is this a, a second degree equation or a third degree, degree equation? The answer lies in the exponent that is the largest. There is an x cubed there so this is a third degree equation. And again, we won't be solving many second or third degree equations. We'll be dealing mainly with first degree equations in this class.